What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Rob HK and in this video we're gonna talk about keyframes inside of LumaFusion. So a lot of you have been asking me about keyframes and what is a keyframe, how do you use a keyframe and when is the best time to use a keyframe and and so on. So that's what we're gonna cover in this video and as you can hear I'm still sick, I've been down with the flu for a week now and it's just, it won't let go. And I hate it, but I managed to put this video together for you guys. So let's jump into LumaFusion and I'm going to explain what a keyframe is and how we use it. So once we jump into LumaFusion, you can already see that I have a project running and this project contains a text layer, a video clip and an audio file. But for this tutorial, we're going to focus on the text layer for when we are making keyframes. So we're going to go on and double tap on the text layer or tap on edit to get into the edit. Then we're going to move over to frame and fit. And here's where we make the keyframes. And as you can see, there is no keyframes applied yet. But once we tap on the circle with the plus inside of it, which you can find in the bottom left, you can see that as I'm going through the timeline and tapping on this circle that we apply keyframes. So a lot of you have asked me to make a video about keyframes. So the easiest way to understand what a keyframe does is that a keyframe gathers the information and the settings that you apply to the keyframe. So if you apply a keyframe and you change the settings on that keyframe, that means that the keyframe will lock those settings to that keyframe and they will not be changed unless you change them yourself. And to make an animation, you would need two keyframes. There is not enough with one keyframe if you want to make an animation. And if we go to the start of the clip and we zoom the text all the way out so it gets tiny, and then we go to the end of the clip and we zoom it all the way in. And if you then go back to the start of the clip, you will see that the text is all zoomed in. And this is because it's the last setting that we applied to the text when we were at the end of the clip. But since we didn't add any any keyframes that means that the last adjustment we did to the text layer is applied throughout the entire timeline. So now let's take a look and see what happens if we apply some keyframes. So we're going to start by going to the beginning of the clip and then we're going to tap on the keyframe button which you can find on the bottom left right here. And what that does is add a keyframe to the current position and locks that drawing effect in that position. So if we move a little bit further to let's say the middle and we add another keyframe by tapping on the same keyframe button once more and you can now see as we go through that there is the same effect added to both keyframes. So if we go to the second keyframe that we added and we do some scaling to the text and we scale it in so it gets bigger. And we have now added animation to our two keyframes. So if we go back to the first keyframe and we tap on play, you can see that we have a zoom animation added to the text. And if you take a look at size on the right side, you can also see that we have a change in value as we're going from the first keyframe to the second keyframe. And this is called an animation. And as we go past the second keyframe, you can see that the value stops at the current position, which we locked into that keyframe. And now let's add another keyframe. So we're gonna move closer to the end and then we're gonna tap on the keyframe button once more. And on this keyframe, we're gonna zoom it out so it gets smaller, and this will automatically lock that position to this keyframe. So now if we play it through, you will see it zooms in, and then it zooms out again, because these are the settings that we apply to each keyframe. So now let's add another keyframe at the end. So we're gonna go to the end and tap on the keyframe button once more. 
And now we want the text to be animated out of the frame. So we're gonna just hold two fingers and pinch it out so it gets bigger. And then we're simply gonna drag the text out of sight or out of the frame. And this will add the simple fade out animation to your text. And now let's move over to a transition. Let's make a basic zoom in transition. So find the clip that you want to use. In this case, I'm gonna use this clip from a beach and I'm just gonna make two simple cuts. So we don't have the same frame when we are making a zoom transition. So what we wanna do here is to make the cuts that we want to use, or it doesn't really need to be any cuts. And we can simply go into the first clip and we can go into frame and fit and make our first keyframe at the desired position. And then we go to the end and make another keyframe. And here we have two keyframes with the same value. And what we want to do to the last keyframe is to change the value. And we want it to zoom in, so we need to change the size to a higher value than the first keyframe. And once we are done changing the value of the size to anything larger than the first keyframe, we can go over to the second part of the clip and then make a keyframe at our desired position and then go to the beginning and make another keyframe. And here we want the keyframe at the beginning to have a higher value than the second keyframe. And here you can see that we applied a basic zoom in transition, but we want to spice this up even more. So we're going to go into color and effects and we're going to apply a short zoom. And what you want to do here is to place the marker on the second keyframe and then go over to color and effects because this will leave the marker at that position. So once you add a short zoom and then add a keyframe, you will have the keyframes at the same position. And once we're added the short zoom to the second clip, we're gonna go over to the first clip and do the exact same thing. Go to frame and fit, go to the first keyframe that you made and then leave the marker there, go over to color and effects again and then apply a short zoom and a keyframe. And once you apply the keyframe, you go to the end and then apply the last keyframe. And once you're done applying the short zoom, you can see that the effect looks a lot better right away. So this is a good thing to add if you're gonna add some transitions or if you're gonna add anything. Uh, you can also use uh, Gaussian blur, you can use short zoom and you can use other effects as well. So now that you know what a keyframe is, you can basically make an animation out of anything. You can animate a picture, video and just be creative and you can make anything that you want uh, within the limits of luma fusion of course so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video guys even though my voice is a bit messed up and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing it really helps me out a lot and also smash that notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and also go check out the self high page where you can buy different types of transitions and effects for luma fusion and i'll see you guys in the next video peace